Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the second half of the Disturbing Methods of Torture iceberg. Now, lots of you have been asking, where's the third part to the Disturbing Internet iceberg? And to that, I say, I'm working on it as we speak, but I wanted to finish up this series before I continued on with that one. So that one will get done eventually. Don't, like, hold your horses, guys. But it's just going to take a little bit of time. Also, I apologize for this video taking a little bit longer to get out. I actually had my 18th birthday two days ago, so, but let's get into this. Flagellation which is another word for flogging or whipping, is an act of beating the human with special implements such as whips, rods, switches, or the cat of nine tails. The subject is usually tied to a post as a means to restrain their movement, then publicly whipped in front of the people of the town. Typically, <laughs> flogging is imposed on an unwilling subject as a form of punishment. However, it can also be done to willing sadomasochists or performed on oneself in religious or sadomasochistic contexts. I mean, some people like it. <laughs> Sharpened bamboo sticks underneath the fingernails is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Sharp shards of bamboo are forced under the fingernails of a subject as a means of interrogation. This torture method will also cause the subject to very slowly bleed to death. Oh, by the way, forgot to mention this at the beginning. I did also go through this, the last three tiers of this iceberg and take out anything that was overly self-explanatory. The ducking stool was a method of torture and public humiliation in which the subject was tied to a chair attached to one end of a lever. Then, they were lowered into a lake and drowned for extended periods of time by the individuals on the other end. Electric shocks are used as a method of torture since the received voltage and current can be controlled with precision and used to cause pain and fear without visibly harming the victim's body. Usually, during this form of torture, a picana is used, which is a wand or prod that delivers high voltage but low current electric shocks to torture a victim. I hope I'm saying that right. Picana, you guys, you guys will tell me about my pronunciation in the comments. Don't, I don't have to worry about that. Strapado, again, correct me on my pronunciation, is a form of torture where the victim's hands are tied behind their back and they are suspended by a rope attached to their wrists. The torturer then proceeds to drop the victim with quick jolts of momentum, leading to the dislocation of their shoulders and the breaking of their wrists. Garrot, or strangling, <laughs> is a method of torture in which the victim is placed in a chair planted in the center of the town, tied by the hands, and strangled with a chain, rope, or cloth in front of an audience. This is used as a means of interrogation or execution depending on the situation as well as the severity of the victim's crimes. Water cure is a form of torture in which the victim is forced to drink large quantities of water in a short time, resulting in water intoxication or possibly death. Often, the victim has the mouth forced or wedged open, the nose closed with pincers, and a funnel or strip of cloth forced down their throat. The victim has to drink all the water fed to them to avoid drowning. However, this will also fill up the stomach, and this is when the torturer will beat the stomach to make them vomit and then continue the torture until they are satisfied. This is awful. Crucifixion is a method of capital punishment in which the victim is tied or nailed to a large wooden beam and left to hang until eventual death from exhaustion or asphyxiation. Dry boarding is a method of torture that induces asphyxiation through stuffing the subject's airways with rags and taping shut their mouth and nose. The brazen bull was a torture method where the victim was locked inside a bronze container shaped like a bull. A fire was then lit under the bull and the victim inside would slowly roast to death. On some of these brazen bull models, they actually open the nose hole so that you can hear the screams of the victim inside and it comes out sounding like the noises of a bull which is really messed up. The Iron Maiden was an iron cabinet that had its inside walls lined with large spikes. The victim was placed inside the human-sized cabinet and the spiked doors were closed on them, impaling them and causing them to slowly bleed to death. Cement shoes is a form of torture or execution where the victim's feet are encased in dry concrete. They are then thrown into the ocean, now unable to swim due to their cemented feet, they drown to death as they sink to the ocean floor. Hung, drawn, and quartered is a method of torture and execution where a convicted traitor was hanged, but only to the brink of death, emasculated, disemboweled, beheaded, and quartered. For those of you that don't know, quartering is when ropes are tied around the four limbs of the victim, then four men pull on these ropes until the victim is ripped into four separate pieces. 
Filleting, also known as skinning, is a method of slow and painful execution in which skin is removed from the body using a sharp blade. Stoning is a method of capital punishment where a group throws stones at an individual until they die from blunt force trauma. The breaking wheel is a method of torture where the subject was strapped down to a wooden board that held their limbs in place. The executioner would then drop a very heavy wooden wheel on the limbs of the subject, breaking every bone in their body. They would start with the shins and move up all the way to their arms. Until eventually, after inflicting excruciating pain to the subject, the wheel would be dropped on their neck, breaking it and killing them instantly. The head crusher is a metal helmet that had a metal plate attached to the bottom which sat under the jaw of the victim. The torturer would then slowly twist the handle attached to the helmet which closed the gap between the top and bottom portions, crushing the victim's skull. Walling is a method of torture used by the CIA in which a person's neck is encircled by a collar and then is used to slam the person's head against a wall. This is used as a means of interrogation or a method of execution if taken too far. The iron chair is a method of torture where the victim was strapped to a metal chair and then placed over a burning flame, which slowly roasted them alive. Republican marriage was a form of public execution where a naked woman and a naked man were tied together and drowned to death. Death by immolation was a public form of execution where the victims were tied to a wooden post and then a fire was lit beneath them, which slowly burned them alive. Keel hauling is a method of torture used by sailors which involves the victim being tied by their feet, thrown overboard, and then dragged underneath the ship. Rat torture was a method of torture in which a cage full of starved rats was placed over the naked body of a victim. Hot coals were then placed on top of the cage, causing the rats to eat through the victim's flesh. The tongue terror is like a modified pair of pliers with a screw to tighten it. This device was placed on the tongue of the victim, clamped down firmly using the screw, and then the torturer would roughly rip the tongue from the victim's head. I'm not even going to try with this one. I will butcher it. So you guys will see it <laughs> and you guys can tell me how to pronounce it. This was a type of death penalty imposed on a guilty subject, which consisted of being sewn up in a leather sack with an assortment of live animals, including a dog, snake, monkey, and chicken or rooster, and then being thrown into the water. Bamboo torture was a method of torture which consisted of tying the victim down over top of a bamboo sapling. The bamboo shoot would then slowly grow through the entire victim's body, impaling the victim and causing them to slowly bleed to death. This form of torture would happen over weeks at a time. Scaphism was a form of torture that consisted of trapping the victim between two boats, feeding and covering them with milk and honey, and allowing them to fester and be devoured by insects or other vermin over time. The Judas Cradle was a method of torture in which a naked victim was suspended over a chair, which was just a giant metal spike, and slowly lowered onto it, which slowly impaled and killed them. This, this is like a pointed little thing. All right, pointed little metal chair. And you can imagine human body lowered onto this. You can imagine where, where that goes up. And you can imagine the ripping and tearing through the entire body. Oh. <laughs> the tiger bench was a torture method historically used, especially in China, in which a person is tied in a sitting position with their legs straight in front of them, with their knees tied to the bench. Bricks are then placed under the feet of the victim until their knees or feet are broken. Sawing is a method of execution in which a subject is tied by their limbs to the corners of two wooden posts. Then two executioners saw through the entirety of their body, starting from the bottom and finishing with their head. The hanging cage was a slow and painful form of execution in which a subject was placed in a suspended cage just big enough to fit their body and left there until they perished from starvation, dehydration, or the elements. Tying intestines around a tree Yes, that's exactly what it sounds like. Was a form of execution in which the subject was disemboweled and then their intestines were tied around a tree until they eventually perished from animals and insects eating their organs. Ling Chi, also known as death by a thousand cuts, was a form of execution in which a knife was used to methodically remove portions of the subject's body over an extended period of time. 
eventually resulting in death. That is the entirety of the disturbing methods of torture iceberg. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. I, I personally really enjoyed making it. And I'll get started on that disturbing internet iceberg as soon as I'm done this. So don't worry about it, guys. I should be back to posting about every two to three days. But I feel like a birthday is a good reason to skip a day. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. I really do appreciate all your support. And I hope you guys have a fantastic night. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.